The Persian Gulf, Inferno. Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Persian Gulf Inferno. Last time when I tried this game I failed miserably because this game is really difficult. But now I'm gonna do something different because like I told last time I have infinite energy on so I won't die from bullet wounds. Hopefully. Well that's what the, all the cheats are. So I only have that on, I still have the time limit, and I still have uh, limited ammo, and limited ammunition, limited explosives. So I gotta be careful with my explosives and with my ammo. Otherwise I just cannot die, but otherwise everything is uh, like a normal game. So hopefully you understand why I did that, because I wanna play the game through. That is why. I just wanna play the game through. Show you the uh, proper ending to the game, as you, you know, be the hero of everything and solve the mystery. Well, apparently, of course, when you put on a trainer, there are problems um, with the game, and apparently it causes sound glitches. Uh. How wonderful. Nice try. Just one guy. Right. Now they all know that I'm here. <laughs> so, where was the first uh, item that I needed? It's up there. I still have the maps up. So I'll be... L you weren't supposed to be appearing there. At all. Seriously, there aren't supposed to be any enemies appearing except up here. Once you get up here. Ah, damn, there's a lot of you guys. A lot of ammo. Got zero mags left, at least. Hopefully more of them don't appear. Because if that happens, this game is gonna be... Yeah, I won't be able to play the game through. Go up, please. Keep forgetting that I need to push up myself to make it go up. This should be an empty room. Yep, it is. The room is empty. That's what it shows and tells you. Thank you. That's what I needed. And that guy stopped me from going into the door for a second there. So let's go to get the elevator or door key. Whatever it is. A key card, anyway. Get that. Actually, there is a door upstairs that I should go to to get some more ammunition. It's always good to keep the uh, pistol well equipped with ammunition. Top floor, please. Dun, 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 dun. Twirl around and go into this door. And we find more ammunition. Land. So now we go down a few floors. Down, please. It's an elevator. You need elevator music, and what more classic than uh, Girl from Ipanema? Man, there's a lot of you guys. Jeez. Can't a guy just go in peace around here? Peace and quiet. No, this is the wrong way. This is the wrong way to go. This is the right way to go. It's still a bit hard to, you know, read the map. And upstairs is the shotgun. They're good maps that I found, but the, the only problems with the maps are that they're small. They're really small pictures. Maybe I should have saved them and, you know, done something else to them. Ah. 
What I have is what I get. Right? So into this room we go and find the shotgun. Excellent. Now it would be nice to get some more ammunition. There is some over there where you see that uh, that platform there, but getting there is actually not that hard. It's right up here. And I'm wasting time. After all, time is my enemy in this game too. And I'm still gonna go for it. I'm gonna go and get that ammunition. If I can. Hopefully it's not a locked door. If it is, I'm gonna be screwed. No, it's not. Good. Ammunition. Excellent. I'm gonna start using the shotgun once I get full ammunition, which is 9 mags. It's kind of an interesting way that it says that you have magazines when uh, shotguns only have ca have cartridges. You know, shells. It doesn't have re really have magazines for it. Although there might be some shotguns, there are some strike shotguns that actually have a drum of a magazine for them. It's still not, a, you know, not a uh, magazine, so to speak. It's a drum. Not that kind of a drum, not the <laughs> kind of drum. You know what I mean, if you know your weapons. On an elevator card. Good. There should be more ammunition down here on the other side. There's a door. You'll have to excuse me if I keep sniffling and everything. Yes. <clears throat> Another cold. I don't know, I'm, it's a bad weather here all the time. Lots of humidity in the air, so that makes me get out cold easy. At least a stuffy nose or sniffling a lot. That kind of thing. I could be using the shotgun, of course, but nah. I'll just keep using the uh, pistol until I have, like I said, full mags for the shotgun. And this is a long way to get to the second building. And that door I want. Yes, I want that door. It's got more explosives in it. And I need them. I'm gonna be blowing up doors for nothing. So we open this. And we find some explosive charges. Use one and you gain one. <sighs> the logic in some games. It is purely purely illogical. Ah, uh, that remind that reminds me that uh, Leonard Nimoy died on Friday. Mm. What a great loss it was. I mean, he was Spock, dude. Man, he was Spock. There is no other Spock than Spock himself. Well, of course, Zachary Quinton is the new Spock, and he does a good job. I, re I actually like the new Star Trek, uh, the reboot, with uh, that J.J. Abrams did. I like them. They're really cool movies. Lots of action and all the characters are portrayed in a new way, and they're really good. Simon Pegg and Scotty, especially. In this room we find hostages. Yeah, we know. We know. We know where they are. And I still wonder how he knows where they are. No more floor down and then we can go. Well, this is gonna be a lot of battling here. I could have gone up, actually, but the, that would have been taken a longer way to get to the other hostages. This is a much faster way of getting... Apparently, I don't know. I don't just don't have infinite uh, energy, but apparently they cannot shoot me. So I, apparently, infinite energy means that the hit hit detection is turned yeah, off. Yeah, or hit collision is turned off, as they usually say in these old games. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, there's a lot of you. But it works for me, as long as the bullets go through me, that's fine. Uh, where was I? I already lost myself. 
Oh yeah, now I can get the Uzi actually. Is this the uh, that's uh, that door? Oh come on! Uh, I forgot that I have to go down first, then up. And uh, this is an empty room. I'll just show you. It's an empty room. The room is empty. <laughs> dun dun dun. So I have to go one, two, three floors down. It's one. Two. Now we can go. I'm gonna go get the Uzi and then we're gonna just, you know, run for it. Go for the uh, ending. Because I, <laughs> I got only 16 minutes to go. Like I said, that's real time that is displayed down there. Now I got only 16 minutes to find the bomb and defuse it. But I know where it is because the map tells me so. Just getting there is not gonna be that easy. I can go and rescue the hostages actually. Because they're right here. Should be a fight too. Or not. Aha! A lot of ammo. Come on, chase the freaking weapon. There we go. These are the hostages, and uh, in this room you find some hostages. Their anguish turns to relief when they realize you have come to rescue them from their captors. You tell them to make their way to the roof and await the helicopter. One steps forward and says, I know where they are keeping some of the others. Take the stairs down four floors and turn left. You will find an elevator to go up one floor up. And in the area to the left you will find my friends. Hey, please help them. Sure. Why not? After all. I'm not just here to kill enemies. I'm also here to rescue people. Okay, that needs a charge and that's only ammunition. You're not gonna waste an explosive charge on that because I need the explosive charges to open the door to get the Uzi and also action roll when I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. But yeah, you can do action rolls while you run if you, in mid step push down, you will do a do a roll. You can't jump in the game. This is not that kind of a platformer. Does this even constitute as a platformer? I would say it's 2D. And there's platform stuff. There we go. And Uzi! A submachine gun. Now I can use that, and dispatch of the enemy is a little faster. Now let's see if I'm on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is the eighth floor, but I can't go through. Never mind. Now this is the ninth floor. Okay, maybe if I looked at the screen, I would know which uh, floor I am on, and then I can easily follow where I need to go. I think this is the floor that I... nope, it's the next one. It's the next one. That's where I can go through. So it's floor six. So that's where I come out of. Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult to get to the uh, to where the bomb is. As you can see, very effective, very effective indeed. And let's see, am I at the uh, next building already? No, not yet. Now I am. This is the last map part. Actually, I'm gonna go down to the third floor. There's a door that shows that there's ammunition. Should be on the next floor. This one. Let's see if I'm right. Nope. It's the fourth floor. Okay, one floor up, please. Of course I choose the wrong floor. I mean, I mean after all, I'm not that good at this game, so why not? 
Why not screw up? Ammunition. Awesome. And apparently we're... On the floor where this uh, elevator goes down to, the last floor, I can find more ammunition. At least according to the map. Should be a door here that leads me to more ammunition. Yep. Should be it. If I could open it. Oh great, there's a fight. That was the last thing I wanted. To use more ammunition to get ammunition. <laughs> Now let's chase to the uh, shotgun, and let's go through here. Actually, no, this doesn't lead to any stairs. It's back to the elevator, let's see. How do I get there? I have to get all the way to the top? Okay, okay. I can do that, I can do that. It's a long way to go. But I can do that, I can do it. Or actually, not all the way to the top. Hey, get back here! I wasn't done with you. I was supposed to go inside. Okay, I think I, I think I know what floor I need to go to. To floor sixteen. Yeah, this place is huge. Just imagine being able to go through everything around here. This is the 15th floor. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I don't know. I don't know how to count anymore. 1, 2, 3. The seventeenth floor. That's where I need to go. <sighs> it's so hard. It 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 does optical illusions on your eyes when it's a very small picture of a map that you need to follow, and then you need to count up, and you see the same image all the time. So it kind of makes an optical illusion on your eyes. I hate that. And I went to the wrong floor anyway. It's a uh, floor sixteen. I still counted wrong. <laughs> Jeez. Maybe on the maybe it is a basement on the uh, map after all. The first floor that I see it's actually the ground floor. No, I pushed it on the wrong time. How did I push it on the wrong time? I was pushing it. On the wrong time. Oh, I'm gonna get there. I pushed it three times. Hey, will that do? Maybe now I can get to to the bomb. It's very, very close by. It's pretty much uh, a little forward and also one floor up. I think if you keep on saving the the uh, hostages, one of them will eventually tell you where the bomb is. I think so, but there's like uh, four more doors to go through to find hostages. And they're on separate floors, so it would take a long time to try to find all the hostages. I don't want to do that. I ain't that patient. Okay, two... F I don't have the elevator card. Right. You need the proper elevator card to get through these two. Shit. Shibidi shibidi shit. Should have remembered. Well, I do know how to get to the, uh... Another way of getting to the bomb, so let's do that. It's gonna be a whole... It's gonna be a long run. See how much it pays you to go through a, a different areas and find all those elevator cards. Yeah, it's very helpful. So you can get to the freaking elevators. But this is where we're gonna go. To the roof, and then we're gonna just run all the way to the left. And we're gonna meet a lot of these guys along the way. I 
And I do mean a lot. I'm sure I'm gonna make it. I am going to make it. Because I demand it. And you can just sort of cheat that way when guys become come from behind. Just run a bit forward that they, the game forgets that it, the game kind of, you know, accounts them as being killed. I'm almost out of ammo on this shotgun. Just noticed. Well, like I said, there's going to be a lot of these guys up here. Just keep running. Whew. Still a few more. I know of. I'm gonna chase the Uzi. Makes it a lot faster. Why are they all congregating here on the roof? Having them? Do they have a rave party up here or something? Seriously, how many of these guys are up here? This is one very well. Equipped uh, terrorist group. I mean, did you see how many guys there were? I mean, holy hell! Never heard that a. I never heard that the terrorist group would be like having this many people in it, except in movies, maybe. Well, of course, this is a video game, so what am I complaining about? It's not reality here. <laughs> anyway, we're close to the bomb. Should be on this floor. Next to a door. Just keep running. Keep running. Almost there. A lot of guys here. But there's a reason for it. Man, there's a lot of guys here. Okay, let's open this door. Let's see what's inside. Should be the bomb. Yes, there it is. You're in the room where the bomb is kept. It appears to be a nice piece of work. Read, you reach for a plier lying on a table and carefully looks for a wire to cut. Nice typo. Do I need to get some wires or what do I need to do here? When I press the when I press the uh, fire button it just puts me in here. I mean out side. Am I missing something? Because uh I think I'm missing something. Maybe I should rescue some prisoners that have pliers on them. Oh shit, do I need to play this game once more? I don't wanna. I'm, I wanna be done with this game. I'm out, I'm out of ammo now. On the uh, Uzi. Any one of you guys have a pair of pliers on you that I can borrow? Anyone? Nice arcade machine. I wonder what they're playing. Ah, oh, man! Uh, boo! spider wall you suck! You didn't go and rescue the hostages that you needed to. I'm sure I needed to uh, rescue some of the hostages, but I'm sure one of them had a pair of pliers. Because apparently there aren't any in this room. Carefully looks... Uh, you reach for a plier lying on this table and carefully looks for a wire to cut. He won't cut it. He won't do anything. Maybe I need to push uh, space. No. Oh! It was F1. Okay, let's cut the... Yeah, you know, red wire. It's always the red wire, right? Oops. That wasn't the one. I know. I know. Let's go back. Uh, the green. You've succeeded in your quest. The bomb has been deactivated. 
After a few minutes rest, you make your way to the landing platform to meet the hostages. Janet rushes to embrace you, her warm lips meeting yours in a gesture of love and gratitude. A short time later, a rescue helicopter is seen in the horizon. You're on your way home to a hero's welcome. Welcome. Well done, soldier. Thank you, I guess. And who the heck is Janet? I didn't know that we actually had a love interest in this game. But apparently we did. Maybe she was in one of the rooms if we had gone through all of them. But that's it. That's Persian Golf Inferno. You can in, you can see why this game is almost impossible to play through without cheats. You gotta be super fast against those guys when you shoot. And you really need those other weapons. Especially the Uzi. That really cuts through them like butter, but it wastes ammo so freaking fast. Uh, but still, pretty cool game, isn't it? Here we are at the Heroes Welcome. And yes, there was no music in these. Never have been, never will be. No music at all. Still, we are a hero. We're a great soldier. We have saved our loved one, apparently. Or maybe she was in the chopper. And she came to welcome me back for doing a good job. What? It doesn't... That makes even less sense. <sighs> this game's weird. When it comes to the story. Doesn't really have a story. It's just a soldier who goes to take care of a nuclear bomb. That's it. Well, still, I hope you enjoyed. At least I made it through. They realized that you have to push F1 to go into, you know, the activation mode. But still, I made it. And did it. Done it. Done. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and a good morning. And I will see you all next time. Take care, people. Bye.